If you've ever wondered who she called when she needed a friend, we may have the answer. Yeah, well, very early on, Denise was taken under the wing of a liver bird with an acid tongue and a heart of gold, the legendary Lily Savage. Now, unfortunately, Lily isn't around so much these mm. days. She couldn't be with us these today. But a close personal friend of both Denise and Lily's is none other than Paul O'Grady. Paul, good morning. Good morning, Eamon. And you, Ruth. Good you morning. Okay? Nah. It's lovely to talk to you. I'm sorry it's under such sad circumstances. Isn't it dreadful, eh? Yeah. Really shocking news. It is. It's very sad. I was, um, I was mad on it. Absolutely mad underneath. She was one of my favourite people in television. And in the old days of this morning, you know, um, I, when they drink up, I say, it's, it's Denise on. <laughs> That's the first thing I'd ask. I remember that hen night, it was, when she was, um, it was when she was getting married. Lily had supposedly organised the hen night and her and Denise had gone out. And I told this outrageous story about how we ended up eventually in the police station naked. And Denise is sat next to me with this mournful expression, like riddled with guilt. She was the most wonderful uh, straight woman. She had the best comic time in Denise. She was fabulous. And, you know, and then as well, you know, she was a lovely person. She was feisty, she was warm, she was very funny, she was very genuine. And like Lily, she was a strong woman, Paul. Oh, she was. She was a, she was a true northern lass, Denise, and she spoke her mind, you know, and she was... I, well, I'm going to miss I'm going to miss her honesty, a humour, a wisdom, a compassion and a feistiness, because she was a very feisty lady, Denise. Yeah. And did she, did she model her hair on Lily Savage? <laughs> I think she did, actually, occasionally, you know what I mean? And uh, Lily'd get the ump for that, you know, because they go out together. <laughs> And they were often mistaken for sisters, which didn't amuse Lily. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, and fact, Paul, all, I, everything you said there about her is really why I suppose everybody who watched this morning loved her and felt they knew her. We all felt we knew her. Well, this is, I mean, somebody once said to me, she's like a fairy godmother, isn't she? And that, for me, is a perfect description of Denise, physically, and the way she behaved. Yeah. You know, the way she helped people. She was a, a mm. really lovely lady. And also, she was a great writer, you know. <clears throat> Prolific yeah. writer, twenty yeah. odd books. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got most of them because she gave me them. Mm. I was always getting Denise's books sent through the post with a note saying, "What do you think?" <laughs> she said she told me she based one of the characters in her books on me. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but you'll tell me one stage. Go through them and find out. <laughs> oh, there could be many. There could be many. Uh, Paul, <laughs> she, she wrote so many. Well, all I can say, my, you know, my sympathies go out to her family, and God bless her. She, you know, she brightened people's lives. She certainly enhanced mine anyway, I'll tell you that much. And look, my friend, I know it's difficult times for you as well. I mean, you've got this news to deal with. You've had the news about your sister as well, who I know is recuperating in hospital at the moment, and we send her our best as well. Oh, she's out now, Eamon. Oh, Thanks very out. much. She's doing really well. She's had her scans fitted. Oh, good. Well, listen, yeah. give her our love, Paul, and love to you. And thank you so much for joining us today because you were a big part of the early days of this morning. So thank you very much. Oh, no, you're very, very welcome, yeah. And, um, yeah, no, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Paul O'Grady okay. there, reminiscing uh, yeah. about Denise and Lily Savage.